Hey guys, what's going on? It's, you know, back 002, or however you found me, Thomas is my real name, you all know that. And I'm joined here as always by, introduce yourself. Nobody. Nobody, the important Hi. Guy. Then there's Rob from the UK <laughs> who called me Posh in my last video. Yes. <laughs> you can go check okay, back the first video and you can look at it. Anyway, we're gonna play some more. We're gonna play some. Oh, I'm sorry for the band. I can't being up on the screen. My bad. We're gonna be playing some Binding of Isaac. This is the game I played at first, and now I'm gonna play a bit more because it's the only entertaining thing I can really play at the moment. And I'm gonna need pretty much one little run. It's probably gonna need broken up to like four ten minute videos unless I die very quickly, which is not out of the question. So we're just gonna be having a nice little conversation such and yeah mm -hmm. kinda random cuz okay it's like this the game you have all these different characters with different abilities instead of explaining each of them I'll do that in separate videos but right now we're just gonna random and I'll explain whoever I get ooh this is not good alright this is called blue baby he is one of the weakest characters in the game you can't regenerate his health unless you find the specific health. And he has a spacebar item you can click that makes you poop. It makes you drop a pile of poop on the floor. He is one of the hardest characters to beat the game with. And when I say beat the game, that can mean a number of things. Oh shit. And when, you, when you're like me, you take damage like that a lot, so playing with blue baby is borderline impossible if you're trying to do it successfully. <laughs> and yeah, this is, um, I'm just going to be doing a few videos on the Binding of Isaac, and I'm going to be doing my best to give you guys some entertainment. I'm not going to do that, because that will make me lose what little health I have left. Mm -hmm. And piles of poop on the floor have a chance to drop money. And that's why I'm breaking them. And you see that little door that the gold room? Right there, that is called an item. You can get items to make my character stronger, faster, etc. You guys There's only one on each floor. Or sometimes, in certain cases, there'll be two or there'll be none. And yeah, I'm gonna see what's in that room and see if I can get something going. Okay. This is another space bar item that will replace poop. It's the deck of cards. It'll give me a random um, special item like this, the two of hearts, which is completely useless because I can't use it. It's, these poops they have random effects, and a lot of the time they seem they work out. Sometimes they kind of mess you up. Well, not really mess you up, they're just useless. So, what's going on with you guys? Besides, gonna be starting up a Gary's mod server whenever you're done with your recording if you want to join. And, uh, guys, we both might be recording this, depending on what he wants to do, so. We'll probably yeah, both yeah. record it so you can, you know, check on our points of view if, if you don't like. Like, you should just watch mine, forget about no, but it's just like, watch mine. Oh, come on now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's up to you guys, you know, it's the same video, but we might be doing different things. Are we gonna yeah, do our video? Yeah, I'm gonna be in a sec. Okay. This is one of the bosses in the game. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. He's called Fan. He's supposed to represent a horseman of the apocalypse. He is annoying as... And that's how I died. Okay, guys. Let's... Retry that and see if we can get a bit farther. Yeah, that's hey, I'll be back in a minute. Okay. Okay. This kind of stuff can really be expected when playing with the blue baby because he, you can make him strong ish, but he's still what I consider to be a very, very, very second player. There's only one character I think is arguably could be worse than him, and that is Samson. 
he's a character that if you looked on the town screen you probably saw, like in the character selection. And we'll get to him in another video why I just like him so much. Uh, he has more health than this, this character I have right now, but he's still a second right character. Mm. Mm, this is Monstro. He, he's, he's not that hard of a boss. Sometimes I do dumb stuff that I forget the pattern I'm supposed to fight him. And, yeah, you can probably notice in the corner, in the corner there's a fly floating around a piece of meat. That's called an eternal fly. It won't attack me unless I break the poop of the fly. I missed. Unless I break the poop, it won't attack me. Now it's trying to kill me. And, I'll show you to go down pretty quickly. And I have a nifty difty little crown. And I'm gonna go to the next floor. Ooh, what? Uh, oh, darn it. Yeah, this game does have looks like that every once in a while. And I'm on the next floor, which is the next level, and I'm gonna see how far I can take this run. I don't have that much. I'm not looking forward to it. Oh, alright. Right there, right that room to the left right here where all these enemies are, it's called an arcade. You can go there to spend money on games, like, well, you have to pay one coin to get in. There are things you can do, like, blood banks, which will pay out, but you give them your health, which I should have really done. And then there's this guy who shuffles items around, and the right one. Oh, oh yeah, that's just, that's just and this is a v the vending machine that gives you fortunes and like other weird things, so I'm gonna just waste my money and have no use for it. Wake up. Bring the him the photo. Marry and reproduce. Ask again later. Okay, well that went just like how I expected it to. Okay, I have one. Alright, and one thing I forgot to mention about the item rooms in this game. After the first floor, the first level, everything, all of them after that, you have to use one key to get into. In the game, there's coins, bombs, and keys. Those are the basic items. Bombs are used to blow stuff up, like you can use them to damage enemy. enemies or destroy these rocks, like right here. Like I just picked one up right now. And keys are used to, well, you know what keys are used for, they're used to open doors. Uh oh. You probably noticed that the enemy's red. That's because he's called a champion. That's a champion version of his enemy. And he gives a special drop to kill him. Not like anything that good. But still something better than that. Like I got one penny out of it. I gotta kill this guy. Okay. Oh. That probably sounds just funny. Alright, and you see, alright, this is where the bombs are very important. You can still see how this rock is a different color. If I blow it up, it'll definitely give me items. Oh, like two of these parts that are health and a one other and a bomb to pay me back for it. That is like really good in a situation like this. There's also a chance on some of the rocks if, when you break them, it'll give you a damage up called a small rock. And then it'll start doing like, then I'll start doing some more damage. And another part of the is starting to Skeleton key. I look pretty. I put, I, it actually works on his skin. Um, I now have enough keys where I will never need to worry about keys again. And if I could get a um a certain item called a pill, a bombs are keys pill, I can reverse what's giving me what, so I can switch out 99 keys and 98 keys for 98 bombs. And yeah, this is going really, really good. And after this boss, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut the video off. This like not this is actually will go good because they're not that tough. After I take down Larry Jr. and his little Larry Larry here, oh no. Uh oh, Frick. why? Yeah. Uh, uh, oh no, oh no. 